Less than an hour, starting gun will sound at the 123rd Boston Marathon. And for the second straight year, at times, the runners are going to be dealing with some rain in Boston today. Weather not putting a damper on the festivities, though. Julia Lima joins us now along the marathon route with more. Well, I will tell you this, Danielle, may not be putting a damper on the emotion of the day, but it's certainly scaring people away for now. Things are getting started in less than an hour, and it's pretty quiet here in Wellesley. You can see we're coming to you live right from mile 13, halfway through the marathon race, and there really aren't any spectators out just yet, but they have plenty of time to get here, of course. Now, again, second year of the, in a row with rain for the Boston Marathon. Not ideal, but the good news is it's going to be a lot warmer this year than it was last year. Almost 20 degrees warmer, to be exact. Many people remember last year year's marathon temperatures dipped into the 40s and it was pretty much raining heavily the entire time and Pete is forecasting some dry time for runners today and the city is better prepared for the elements this year. They've set up eight weather shelters, one in every town on the marathon route compared to just four used last year. They also adjusted the start times for certain waves of runners so they won't have to stand around waiting in the rain. With 30,000 runners and up to 1 million spectators expected in the city, Boston police are significantly increasing patrols all throughout the marathon route. Uh, we'll be activating our emergency operations center to coordinate with all of our city and state agencies. We will not tolerate drinking in public. We will not tolerate smoking marijuana in public. This is a, also a family event. There'll be a lot of kids in town. Now, if you plan on braving the rain and watching the marathon today, just a reminder, you are not allowed to bring backpacks, coolers, or any other large, bulky items. Now, this year's marathon falls on the anniversary of the bombing six years ago for the first time. And a little later in the show, we'll tell you what the city is doing to honor and remember the victims. Reporting live in Wellesley, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.